Good day everybody, Arcane Hulk here today. Hope you all had a great Easter weekend, but we have a video to get into. So today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty. Now this video is going to be loosely, um, I want to say outlined by my previous one, which was what I want from Destiny in the April update, but today it's going to be a little bit different. What do I want from Call of Duty as a whole? Now I want to preface this whole thing by saying I do still like Call of Duty, but what we have today is definitely not the same animal I fell in love with 10 years ago, so we're going to critically evaluate where I think Call of Duty went wrong, and we're going to be comparing the heyday of COD, which was, in my opinion, Modern Warfare through Modern Warfare 3, and the downfall of COD when it started going just all wrong, which was about Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3. Now, I know what you're saying. Black Ops 2 is a mistake. I think it was in some ways, but competitive was an absolute success. I will give them that. But that's another topic. We may get into that later. We may not. So let's get right into it. Now, Call of Duty back in its heyday was absolutely fantastic. You had the community, you had snipers making montages, people competing for the most kills, headquarters games with two, three hundred kills, five Moabs in a single game my clan got one time, juggernaut suits, AC-130s, tactical nukes that wiped out everything. Your team, the enemy team, ended the entire game. They just, these kill streaks molded the battlefield. As soon as you called in a Harrier, you knew that you could not go outside. You knew that there was going to be a carpet bomb followed by a plane that's just going to shoot at everyone in the area. Just real impactful things that changed the flow of the game and allowed you to become that awesome player. And really, it was kind of punishing for newer players, but I have a counter-argument for that. If you really want to become better at a video game, you have to get your butt beat a few times, because eventually you strive to become better, and you do become better, and it makes you enjoy the game that much more, because you know you worked hard, and you know the person you're stomping on now is going to work hard, and they might be on your level and even surpass you later on. It's just, back then, it was so much simpler. You had your primary, your secondary, Two grenades, one special, one regular, three perks, and yeah, maybe Call of Duty World of War had the vehicle perks, but that was basically it. Everyone had the same basic loadout, and they were able to somewhat predict what people were going to do, how they were going to play, and based off of what they were running, they know exactly their play styles, how they would go about going around the map. Now, in my opinion, this created a much bigger skill gap because you had to really be experienced with the game. You had to know how players thought, how they were going to move around, what kind of tactics would they use, and what messages could you convey to your teammates to help you stop them in their advances, whether it be a, a kill-based game mode or an objective-based. Or you could just go Rambo, get a huge kill streak, and wipe the entire team. You can't do that in modern Call of Duties, mainly because everyone's getting free kills. There are so many BS aspects, and by BS I mean random, that you just can't control. So many variables are in the new games that there is no sense of, there's no structure anymore. Everyone, uh, for example, the War Machine and, or what are they, they're the minigun and the grenade launcher. Those used to be kill streaks in Black Ops 2, and now they're just given to you for free just for playing the game. That's wrong in my opinion. If you want something powerful, you have to earn it. I don't know why they're handing things out. I don't want to say the game is too casualized because in my opinion, casualized is where it's just more accessible to a broader audience that can get in and they can relate to something quicker. This is not casual. This is holding your hand. This game is, it's like it's made specifically for little children who have no idea what they're even doing. Call of Duty isn't a kid's game. It's rated M for Mature and they should treat it as such. Now, M for Mature is one thing I want to touch on real quick. In World at War, you had people's body parts blowing off. That game, in my opinion, felt like you were playing through a World War II movie and it was so immersive. Now, you play Black Ops 3 and you can't... There is no immersiveness in that game. It's just... Um, it's just random specialist ability, stupid spawn, and then blah, 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 death, 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 kill, 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 death. There's, like I said before, there's just no structure in the game anymore. Call of Duty needs to go back to its roots where it's more simple, easier to understand, and a lot less chaotic. Now, I'm not trying to say Call of Duty is overcomplicated. I'm saying it's over chaotic aided. Ah, see what I did there? <laughs> now... I know there are a lot of people who love this aspect where you can just run around, not have a care in the world, and just see where the wind takes you. 
but really if you want an actual game that requires thought and skill and growth as a player and as a gamer then you definitely need to have some type of structure and when everything is random it really takes away from that and makes it starts to take away from that core gameplay now call of duty black ops 3 compared to black ops 1 they are completely different games one is a very simple easy to understand shooter that you can just pick up play and you can get better at it you pick up black ops 3 and you can have the best gun skill in the world and you will die a lot whether it be to knock off titan smashes uh, some dude rejects while you're reloading or just any kind of mistake that you don't make can still come back and bite you it's just ridiculous how far the game has gone how far away from its roots it is and really if they want us to fall back in love with this game they need to give us what initially hooked us and that is a simpler state a more structured state and just an overall cooler stronger better experience better kill streaks all of the weapons being viable all of the maps being great and as far as campaign and stuff they can keep it how it is that's all fine but that's it for the video today guys i hope you enjoyed uh let me know what you think about the state of call of duty at the moment i'd love to hear your opinions leave them down in the comment section below and i'll see you again soon